Greetings, Darlene here. Today I want to start fermenting something that I haven't fermented before. Well, partially I have. I've made something called a ginger bug, which is pre preparing ginger to make to make ginger ale. But today I want to ferment my ginger so that I have fermented ginger. I got the idea when I saw someone else making it. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a good thing to try doing and to make a video. So here goes. I have, I'm going to stand up so that you're not seeing my face. You're going to see what I'm doing. I have some ginger. First thing I'm going to do is take the peelings off. I'm going to try anyway to take the peelings off. Yeah, there we go. I'm just... Actually, they suggested... A lot of people say to use... Um, um, oh, what am I saying? The, a spoon. But then I heard if I use, and I'm looking at my drawer here to find it. The uh, uh, banana, not banana, potato peeler. Gosh, I'm having a hard time thinking of what I wanted to say. I knew what I wanted to say, it just wasn't coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I even had some fuzz in there, which I don't like having. And I'm not seeing the potato peeler. I suspect it's in the dishwasher. So I'm going to see if I can just use my knife. Let me go get a paring knife and see if that helps. Okay. Oh man, that smells good. But yeah, that's helping a little bit there. The peeling is coming off. go back to using the spoon. <laughs> I think, the, yeah, the spoon's working better. And sorry about the loud clanging noise. My cutting board is made out of glass, so it does make noise. I know when I make the ginger bug, I don't have to peel the ginger. So, but I, I was told that the taste is different when you peel it. So we're gonna get it peeled. I don't know how thoroughly I need it. Okay, got it cut into small pieces. 
I think this is about the smallest jar I could find. So I'm gonna, gonna put my pieces in there. The next thing I'm gonna add is some salt. Since I don't have very much ginger, I'm not gonna put very much. I'm gonna put just probably about three quarters of a spoonful. And it's uh, Himalayan pink salt. Okay, next I'm gonna add my water. Make sure that it's enough that it's all covered. And I think with this little bit, I don't need to add a weight. I'll just keep my eyes on it to make sure that nothing floats to the top. If it does, I'll add a weight to the top. Then I'm going to put on my pickle pipe. And then I am going to put a ring on it. So there we go. I will leave this, this set for, I'm going to say a couple of weeks. And then it should turn into fermented ginger with any luck. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's a really easy thing to do. Fermenting in general is pretty easy to do. You just prepare your fruit or vegetable and put in the salt and the water. Make sure that it's below the water line. Put on your pickle pipe. Put in a weight if necessary. And then wait. And I thought before I close out this video, I will show you what it looks like outside. Yes, we have snow. Here's hoping it melts. Because I'm not going to go outside and do any outside gardening. Not with snow on the ground. Getting my door locked back up. I don't think my video was really very long today because it was a simple process and that's about all I have right now that I can ferment. My plants in my plant room are coming along nicely. I will make an update in a day or so about showing you how those are turning out. Well, until then, I hope whatever you're growing is growing beautifully, whether it's indoors or whether it's outdoors. May your gardens be fruitful and bountiful. May the good Lord richly bless you. And may you always seek out what's true, the absolute truth. Until next time, this is Darlene saying goodbye for now.